Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Boxing Bookie. We are back. We are back. It is good to be back. Got a good one for you today. Going to get into Floyd Schofield and Renee Telez Giron. Um, in what should be a, it was the main event of the Golden Boy card. Should be a good one. Before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow Three Boxing, Three Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. Of the boxing bookie company actually for every single major fight. So we had to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what we're doing. I do. So head on over to the Patreon. Uh, just five dollars a month gets you the absolute best gambling advice in the boxing universe. Uh, the Patreon gets you the lock of the week, which we hit nearly every week, which is a lock. Um, it gets you to ask the bookie anything, it gets you the updated props, it gets you to request a video, it gets you the absolute best gambling advice anywhere in the known boxing universe also head on over to carnivorebar.com that's carnivorebar.com get the nutrition of a steak in the convenience of a bar that's carnivorebar.com that's carnivorebar.com on the move nutrition without compromise use promo code boxing to save 10 percent at checkout use promo code boxing uh, to save 10 percent at checkout that's carnivorebar.com also, head on over to Texas Boxing Scene, my other channel. Uh, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. That's Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. Uh, please uh, subscribe and like that channel as well. All right, let's get over to the uh, today's show. Floyd Schofield, Renee Telez Giron. Uh, Floyd Schofield, he's a bulldog in there, super aggressive, come forward. Uh, He's like a 135-pound Sean Porter. He's relentless. He's rough. He can make it ugly. He's also got a little bit of boxing skills. He's a good athlete. The cop I keep coming up with is Sean Porter, Sean Porter, Sean Porter. Uh, doesn't have the greatest power, but throws hard and uses his physicality. He's strong and physical, kind of like Porter, right? He's not the biggest hitter in the world, but he's strong and he's physical, and he, and he uses that. Super strong. Uh, he does get hit more than you like. Stylistically, that's kind of his thing. It's not going to be an issue in this fight, but it certainly could be an issue later on at the, at the most elite level. He's super quick. He's got good twitch, good reflexes, good athlete, opens up, stays on you, can make you uncomfortable. He needs to be on the inside. That's where he needs to be in this fight. Does have a nice jab that he just peppers out there, peppers out there to get on the inside. He uses that really well. Has that dog and grit in him. He loves the fight. You can tell he loves the fight. This is what he does. He, he's going to bring the fight to you. He's going to exchange and bang on the inside. Aggressive, strong, come forward, relentless. And pretty good volume. He throws in good volume. Keeps the jab out. Throws in combination. Keeps working on the inside. Defensively, has he's super basic. His defense, a lot of times, is his offensive aggression. Uh, does some switch hitting. He's a relentless swarmer. You know, he's, he's a highly skilled relentless swarmer on the inside. Really good jab. Uh, if you have a really good jab, it can't frustrate him. He, he's going to have trouble at the highest level getting past a really good jab. Fortunately for him, um, Eric Gomez and the boys over at Golden Boy did a really good job of matching him to make him look good. Uh, Rene Telez Giron, not great power, is sloppy. He's going to make him look good. He's going to make Floyd Schofield look good. He's short, too. He presses forward. He gets a little wild. He opens up and takes risks. Doesn't use his jab enough. He's going to lose the battle of the jab, and then Floyd Schofield is just too athletic and skilled for him on the inside. He's going to lose the fight on all terrains. Uh, pressure front foot fighter as well. He'll be attached to Floyd. That, that kind of flight... He's, he's, he's going to test him. He's going to stand up to Floyd, but he's there to make Floyd look good. Throws a lot of wide shots, a lot of wide shots. He's slow. Like I said, Floyd's going to beat him out jab from the outside and beat him up on the inside. It's I, I, This is a, a well, well-picked well opponent by Golden Boy. He's super easy to hit coming in. The, split, the speed difference, he's slow. The speed difference is going to be a massive diff difference. Um, he throws hard shots, but wide. He's tough as nails. He's durable. It's just not a fight that he can win. He's, he, there's no path to victory for Giron. He's not the biggest hitter. He's sloppy. He's slow. Floyd Schofield is a level or two or three ahead of him. 
it's a well picked opponent. He's gonna fight into Floyd's hands, and Floyd's gonna have you know it's, it's a test, it's a name, it's an opponent. It's something you can put, you know, it's something you can hang on your wall, but ultimately it's a well picked opponent that Floyd's gonna school. All right, so let's take a look at the book. There's not a whole lot to take a look at. It's not a whole lot to take a look at. There's no props on this yet. I kind of like man, this is tough though. Floyd Schofield is minus fourteen hundred. Okay, it's not the best bet in the world. I mean, minus fourteen hundred. I think that they, they've made that book about right. That's about right. He's that big of a favorite, fourteen to one. It's not terrible odds, right? Like that. That book is is not off. It, it's that wide of a fight. So I'm gonna take Schofield on the money line. It's not a whole lot of money to make. Hundred dollar bet, one times bet. Yeah, you can make this bet bigger. Two times bet. It's gonna win you fourteen twenty eight. It's a bet that you can add to your parlay if, if, if you're if you're using a parlay around Liam Davies or something like that. This is a bet that can help bring down your odds just a bit. You know, I, I would take a look at this. I would take a look at Liam Davies and and this fight as a parlay. Maybe you can add something else to it. But this is a start. You know, it's gonna help bring your odds down a little bit. The odds on this aren't great, but it's better than more tire if you're looking to build a parlay. It's, it's safe. It's easy money. Uh, Floyd, Floyd's going to fill out minus 1400 Easy money. You know, it's not a lot. You're not making a ton of money here. But minus 1400 $200 bet. Two times your normal bet. Makes you 1428 Not getting rich off of this one, but you can use it to help, help you parlay. Help bring down the odds. It's better than Patrick McGrory. It's better than and, – and it's safe. It's better than Roman Mattia by a lot. And you can use this to help, you know, bring those odds down on, on a safe, easy bet. All right, y'all. Uh, head on over to carnivorebar.com, carnivorebar.com. Get the nutrition of a steak, convenience of a snack. That's carnivorebar.com. Um, I am losing my freaking brain today. I really am. Um, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. It's also a little ticket below. Five dollars a month gets you the updated props. Gets you asked to bookie anything. It gets you the lock of the week, of course. Like, request the video, request the fight, and I will break it down for you. All right, guys. Uh, it is October 30th, 2024, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.